According to USDA statistics, each year the United States produces about 12 to 13.5 million tonnes of pork. In recent years, this country has always ranked third in the list of the world's largest pork producing countries. Leading this list is of course China. In addition to a large number of factory farms owned by large corporations such as Smithfield Foods Inc, Triumph Foods or Seaboard Foods, there are now thousands of outdoor pig farms of various sizes in the United States that are owned by households. Pigs raised outdoors on pastures and in wooded areas can eat a varied diet of plants, insects and nuts. This helps the quality of their meat and is always appreciated more than pigs who are kept in a barn for their entire life. We are currently located in the western part of Iowa which has the largest concentration of pig farms in the United States, including outdoor pig farms. During pregnancy, these sows will be living together and they are still free to carry out their natural behavior. Basically, these pigs have a pretty similar lifestyle to wild boars. The only difference is that they don't destroy crops. About two to three weeks before birth, the sows at this farm will be examined with a wireless ultrasonic machine to assess the development of the piglets. According to experts, during pregnancy, sows raised on a free range model often have a much better condition than pigs raised intensively on large scale farms. On average, each sow usually gives birth to 9 to 15 piglets and farmers hardly interfere with their reproduction. In order to ensure that all piglets get enough milk and avoid being attacked by other creatures, fences like this are essential for free range pig farms. After only five to seven days, when the piglets are strong enough, they will be released and free to perform their natural behaviors. These pigs will live outdoors for the rest of their lives and they are only kept in cages when the weather is too cold. For pigs raised in the forest, farmers will need to set up a fence system around the farm to prevent the pigs from escaping into the deep forest. The ancestors of today's wild boars in the United States are domestic pigs that escaped into the forests hundreds of years ago. These piglets will live with their mothers for about 50 days, which is twice as long as pigs that are raised on the intensive model. According to statistics, by 2022, there will be nearly 400 outdoor pig farms in Iowa. Meanwhile, the total number of pig farms in the state is about 5,500. Unlike pigs raised in intensive care, pigs raised in outdoor farms often do not eat or eat very little foods that help to gain weight quickly. To qualify for meat harvest, Pigs on free range farms usually need eight to nine months instead of the five to six months on factory farms. Most of the feed used on outdoor pig farms is silage and nuts. In addition, fresh vegetables and fruits are often regularly used to enhance the quality of the meat in these pigs. Outside of Iowa, 
states like North Carolina, Minnesota, and Missouri are also home to the largest number of outdoor pig farms in the United States. This is a free range pig farm in northern Minnesota. Here, more than 200 pigs are regularly free to run around and forage on a pasture of more than seven acres. And the main food used for the pigs at this farm is sprouted rice. In winter, some pig farms in inclement weather need to put straw in the barn to provide shelter for the pigs. Unstable external weather conditions are also considered to be the biggest obstacle for these pig farms. This is an outdoor black pig farm in the south of Missouri. Before the pork harvest takes place, these pigs will be weighed to see if they meet the requirements set forth by the buyers. Normally, pigs raised outdoors will reach about 130 to 150 pounds after eight to nine months. And this is also the ideal condition for them to be transferred to the pork processing plants. Each year, open air pig farms in the United States supply the market with about 3.8 million pigs, around 3% of the total number of pigs slaughtered in the country. This is what goes on inside a large scale pork processing plant in Iowa. About 129 million pigs are slaughtered in the United States each year, and about 39 million of them are raised in Iowa. The pork industry in the US currently has an estimated market size of $19 billion, consisting of 26,310 businesses and approximately 53,000 employees. Pork is the third most popular meat in the United States after chicken and beef. In 2022, each American consumed 52.1 pounds of pork nearly a quarter of their annual average meat consumption. Hello my friends, today we are going to several turkey farms in the United States to see how they raise and then harvest millions of turkeys. According to statistics released in 2020, the number of turkeys in the United States is about 224 million of which Minnesota, North Carolina, Arkansas, and Indiana are the states with the largest number of turkeys in the country. Here's what's happening at a turkey farm egg incubator in Minnesota. With its state-of-the-art equipment, this incubator is capable of producing up to 57,000 turkeys per incubation. In recent years, Minnesota has always led the country in the number of turkeys with about 44 million, accounting for 18% of the total number of turkeys in the country. After seven days, these thousands of eggs will be checked to make sure the cells inside are developing well. Have you ever eaten turkey eggs? After four weeks, thousands of eggs have hatched and these turkeys are ready to start a new life. This is the procedure for testing and vaccinating one day old turkeys defective or weak turkeys will be discarded. Except for the slightly larger size, the newly hatched turkeys do not look much different from the chickens. Once the testing and vaccination process is complete, 
thousands of turkeys will be sent to farms. Currently, there are about 2,500 turkey farms in the United States, and the number of turkey farms in Minnesota is about 667. Basically, raising turkeys is like raising chickens, although they need more time to mature and harvest. Currently, turkey farms in Minnesota usually need about 180 days before they are able to harvest meat. These two-week-old turkeys are on a farm in North Carolina. Currently, North Carolina ranks second in the United States in terms of the number of turkeys, with about 33 million birds distributed across 389 farms. This was captured on a turkey farm in Arkansas. Currently, Arkansas is also one of the states with the largest number of turkeys in the United States, with about 31.5 million. According to statistics, turkeys contribute $304 million a year to the Arkansas economy, and the turkey industry provides about 19,000 jobs. Not only do they live in captivity, but many farms in the United States also raise turkeys free range. This is great for the prevention of disease in turkeys and also improves the quality of the meat. Turkeys are considered fully mature when they reach 30 to 40 pounds in weight. The weight in wild turkeys is only 15 to 25 pounds. Currently, Alabama is the state with the largest number of wild turkeys in the United States. The feed used for turkeys is mainly soybeans, corn, wheat and barley. After about six months, Thousands of these turkeys are ready for harvest. Workers will catch and load thousands of turkeys into these cages. Then the trucks will transport them to the turkey processing plant. In 2021, up to 46 million turkeys were eaten on Thanksgiving. 22 million on Christmas and 19 million at Easter. Alexander Hamilton, the first Secretary of the Treasury of the United States, once stated that no citizen of the United States should not eat turkey on Thanksgiving Day. And this has come true. This is what happens at a turkey processing plant. Here, thousands of turkeys will be dipped in boiling water and cleaned of feathers before moving on to other stages. With modern technology applied, this factory only needs to employ about 40 to 50 workers in the entire process of processing thousands of turkeys a day. For many years, the United States has always been the largest turkey producer in the world. In second and third are Brazil and Germany.
how do you feel about the process of raising and processing turkey meat in this video? Let us know what you think in the comments section of the video. Goodbye and see you in the next video.